Netflix still has something of a mixed record when it comes to its own feature films, but it's looking to improve its hit rate after signing a massive deal with a pretty significant director in Matt Reeves. After making Cloverfield in 2005, Reeves went on to direct horror remake Let Me In before heading up Dawn of the Planet of the Apes and last year's War for the Planet of the Apes. What's more, he's the man currently in the frame to direct that long-planned Ben Affleck solo Batman movie, The Batman. Copyright Getty Images Ray Tamarar advertisement, continue reading below by moving his over sixth. The producer direct through the company, Deadline reports, Matt is a fantastic storyteller with a unique vision and his track record speaks for itself, said Netflix movies Guy Scott Stuba. Related article is Jake Gyllenhaal replacing Ben Affleck as Batman. At Netflix we are partnering with the best filmmakers and know that Matt and his team will bring great inventive films to our global audience, we couldn't be more excited to welcome him to the Netflix family, and Matt, of course, seems happy to be there. Netflix is at the forefront of a new age in how storytellers are reaching their audience, he said, I am incredibly excited to be working with Scott and our teams to find and create thrilling, character-centered genre stories, and to guide and nurture new filmmaking voices. Despite the scathing reviews for its attempt at a Hollywood-style blockbuster with Bright, the film was apparently watched by 11 million people in just three days. While Netflix doesn't reveal the actual viewing figures for its shows and films, what we do know is that the film has already earned a sequel, with talk of a multi-movie franchise in the works. Want up to the minute entertainment news and features? Just hit like on our Digital Spy Facebook page and follow on our Digital Spy Twitter account and you're all set.